Made in Hollywood. I'm here on the red carpet for the premiere of Deadpool 2 in New York City, and I'm going to talk to Ryan Reynolds and the rest of the cast from the film. So Deadpool is such an awesome character, but what Ryan Reynolds did with him is even more amazing. What's your favorite part that he brought to the character? Um, just, just his entire essence, because I tell him all the time, Ryan, Deadpool was super popular before Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds made him, I did not know what worldwide phenomenon was until Ryan became Deadpool. Now I'm like, oh, that's what, so there's another level. It's way up here. Disney does not own Fox. If they do end up owning Fox, well, I don't know. You know, what happens to Deadpool? I'm not sure. Does he end up in the um, Marvel Comics universe? Does he end up in the dustbin? I have no idea. We'll see. I think he'd be friends with Star-Lord. I think he'd be great friends with Star-Lord. He'd love Tony Stark. I mean, he, we already know he loves Tony Stark. He's obsessed. You look completely different in this second film than the first film. Yeah, I get that a lot. Um, <laughs> I think, too, like, I was 18 in the first film, so I think I've lost a lot of, like, baby fat. And, you know, I have hair now. I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. <laughs> How do you keep a straight face in those scenes with Ryan? Because I'm dying laughing in the theater. Well, you know, when they say cut, then, you know, we fall on the floor. But when it's time to roll, you know, we keep our, our straight thing. And my character is kind of like the one that keeps him grounded, you know? So there's not a lot of humor when, it's, when we're doing it. I want her to be my roommate. Do you want to move in with me? Okay. I'm Cable, and I'm from the future, and I'm always pissed off. Pew, 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 pew! Reach for the sky! <gasps> oh no, Sheriff Deadpool. You know, you're a lot taller in the- Shut up! Grunt, grunt, take this- Oh! Regeneration powers, activate! That's not something you say. Zip it, Cable! Interesting how oh. you play a very similar character to your other Marvel characters. I don't see it, but I would like to see it, but I try. Villainous. There's a lot of time, villains and a lot of different Time movies. traveling with a contraption that's on one of his arms, hands. Yeah. Something, I, there's something else, but I can't say it because it'd be a spoiler for both films. Firm butts. Yes, that too. They both too. have firm butts. <laughs> so, the talks. <laughs> so yeah. you don't see any similarities. No, I see similarities <laughs> that you just pointed out, but they're two, tonally, two very, very different roles. Kids give us a chance to be better than we used to be. He needs you. You're a lot smarter than I look. Uh, what I love most about Deadpool and Deadpool 2 is it's so well written, and I love Deadpool 2, I think even a little bit more than the mm, first. That's Dare so I nice to hear. I feel like this one was even more self-aware and realized in all the ways that we loved the first one. We tried to push it a little bit harder, but uh, somebody said the other day, what I love about it is it's similar, but it's different. And I was like, that's a really moronic <laughs> thing to say. And yet at the same time, it's kind of right. I ain't letting Cable kill this kid. But I can't do this alone. We're gonna form a super duper group. That's what we're gonna do. Thank God you have a collaborator like Ryan who understood how they made the first one and who understands the DNA of Deadpool from top to bottom. I don't even know how you would move forward with this universe without um, Ryan's voice in it. This is his baby. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, it's he's like been working on this for so long. I'm like, oh, baby, sitting his child. His... Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna ruin his vision. Domino, I'm lucky. Luck isn't a superpower. It's certainly not very cinematic. Yes, it is. Let's meet in the middle and say no, it isn't. Give me one sentence that describes Deadpool 2. Caddy Wampus, bum fuzzle, argle bargle. Not really a sentence. Uh, Deadpool 2 is like the Canadian version of Couples Retreat with slightly less small and Ackerman. More like Sugar Ray's every morning, but with slightly more Mark McGrath. Do you think we should have high or low expectations of this sequel? Uh, low. Real, real low. Yeah, like Rick Astley low. Yeah. This one was definitely a money grab. Big time. Because of his mask, you can't see his mouth. A lot of the lines will be changed later. A lot of the jokes are changed. Mm -hmm. um, did you also do that for this film? We did a little of it. Um, I would say, though, that there's probably 90% of the original script in the movie. We're, we're writing up, you know, basically uh, from June of 2015, we were working on this movie uh, all the way up until two weeks ago. Well, that's just lazy writing. Tell me they got that in slow motion. Deadpool's so amazing because of just the raw jokes that come out of Ryan Reynolds' mouth. Yeah. 
How are you handling those scenes with him? Are you just busting out laughing? There's a lot of laughter on the floor. I'll put, I'll put it that way. A lot of cut film that falls to the floor of my laughter and screwing up basically every scene that we did. It lives up to the hype, plus plus. They probably won't even make a three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it too, you killed it. <laughs>